I can't believe I'm saying this, but Nene Leaks gave your girl props an exclusive interview with Carlos King. Take a look at this clip from Carlos King's Reality with the King podcast. But I will give Claudia this, although she said the most nastiest things about me and she's been holding on to a grudge for 100,000 years. I would have to give, I'm going to give her this. I've read many of girls, honey, and I've been on this show with many girls. I would have to say that she was probably my number one battle. She was definitely, She was definitely right up there to battle with. And I want people to know this, too. You told me and Joy after mm-hmm. that scene um, between you and Claudia because Demetria was being positioned mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as a peach holder. Mm-hmm. And you told me and Joy, y'all picked the wrong right. bitch. That's right. And Claudia I want people to know peach. that because you're not this yeah. hater. No. You, you mm-hmm. always did what was best for the show. I did. You said, mm-hmm. that bitch Claudia... Mm-hmm. She she's good. That Y'all need to give good. her a peach. Y'all done got rid of Portia. You need to get Claudia a peach because Pe- Claudia was really going toe to toe with me, and I will give her that every single time. All right, what do you guys think about Nene's remarks? Whoever wants to speak on it, that's um, it it brought an eternal smile to my face because you know I I do identify a lot with Nene in the sense that she's able to be very transparent and honest and much like myself, I cannot like you and I can work with you. You can be my adversary and I can still realize that we need you as part of this group setting situation. And so I think it was great. If I want to step out on a limb and be honest, you know, Claudia, my only reservation with you when you came onto the Real Housewives of Atlanta and you can, you can, um, chime in on this if you want to. Your appearances on The Real Housewives of Atlanta came off to me as if somebody was in your ear saying, do this, do that, go after this person and attack this person. Because there were several scenes that were just extremely awkward. The one when you told Portia, I know you messing with the Africans. The one when you were asking Phaedra about her relationship with Apollo and that woman barely knew you. And she was like, I will discuss that, but not with you. And then obviously you and Nene having you guys' beef, it just felt like someone was in your ear saying, do this and this is how you get the job. Never. First of all, I was there as a friend of the show. I wasn't there to get a peach. And I was perfectly fine. Fine. What people fail to remember is at the time I was already working on the Ricky Spiley morning show and booked every single weekend. I wasn't trying to get another. I was. I didn't even think me getting a peach was a, a, a possibility. Now, to, to your question, that's been one of the most frustrating opinions because especially now, like you've known me for uh, some years now, mm-hmm. um, I wouldn't go on a show to do someone's dirty work. Why would I? I, I have too much confidence in myself and I don't need to do that. Like I didn't care to be on reality TV. That's never been a goal of mine. I was minding my business when I went to a, a um, get together at the, um, what's that club in LA? Uh, well, it's, it's a gay spot. Abby. Uh, the Abbey. And my, two of my friends, B. Scott and Mr. Ray called Carlos to come over there. We hung out. He was like, I want to get you. I'm going to change your life. I was like, okay. I hardly even watched the show. So when I got on the show, um, it's funny because it's the opposite that actually happened. Both Kenya and Carlos said, do not do what everybody else does and thinks this is how you get attention and go after Nini with a fake beef. I said, I have no beef with Nini. We was actually cool before I did the show. And I actually hung out with Portia a few times in New York and in Miami. So I had no beef with anyone on the show. So what y'all don't see is a lot of times they will poke you and then they'll show the response. So yeah, it did seem awkward to me and Portia because you didn't see day one at the Ricky Smiley show, she was she changed up on me after we was cool. You didn't see, um, you know, well, I don't know, the Nene thing, me and Nene, like I said, we were cordial before this. So I was shocked to see there was a scene where she was calling me thirsty. And I was just like, whatever. So it's kind of like on reality, you get the response. And as the new girl, I understand how people say, oh, you came with an agenda. Absolutely not. Carlos and Kenya. And to Kenya's credit, she could have said, yo, you're my girl, have my back. She never said that. Um, and as far as, uh, what Nene said, I thought that was dope. What she said, of course she threw some shade, but, um, you know, that's to be expected. That's fine. Um, but I do appreciate that because that is what would actually would happen. And, uh, that show, that scene was a lot left out that y'all did not see. And I wish they could one day release it. Cause it was, it was actually a, a fantastic, um, ping pong match between the two of us. 
And I would always say this, so it's my close friends, you know, it's too bad that it went down like that because I think her and I on the same uh, page would have made some funny ass TV together. So, but anyways, I appreciate that, Nene. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, that was that was cool. And uh, I'm not going to address the shady part. I thought I'll, I'm going to be happy with that. I'm going to take my wins. I'm going to take my Ws. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. So, Al, you want to say anything or are you good? Oh, no, no, I'm good. Um, I, you know, this is nothing new to me because she's a friend of mine. So she already told me how she felt. So this is nothing. No new news for me. Yeah. It's crazy that I'm looking at the chat. It's like you went on the show to blow up. I, I really didn't. I didn't. But y'all don't believe what you're going to believe. I was there. 